Good evening. It is 7-11-2022 and um, I just want to share some God thoughts and some things, well, some things that I had been thinking about um, anticipating this particular date and uh, I actually prayed about it and asked God to reveal to me what I need to say regarding 7-11, okay? So, um, God thoughts. Yes, my daughter, numbers mean different things to different people. As for you, 711 has some bad connotations for you. A boyfriend that had a one night stand from a girl he met at 711, a man you babysat for him and his wife, you saw him buy a pornography magazine from 711, then a drunkard did something inappropriate to you in line in a 7-Eleven. You met your first husband there and a clerk said something inappropriate to you. Yet what hurt the most was the first, then the meeting and marriage to the spouse. Yet this good, yet the good is that you were blessed with a beautiful daughter and now grandchildren. And for your friend, 7-Eleven means, I have a friend, 7-Eleven um, to him means something totally different and um, and it has a positive con connotation for him in that it was the weight of his child at birth. <clears throat> Every time he sees the word, the C 7-Eleven, he thinks of his, his daughter when she was a baby. But anyway, um, I was just sharing those thoughts and then God um, I had a dream and then I asked God about this dream. I had a dream this morning actually. It was very early in the morning and it actually, um, it had a dream um, and in the dream was actually um, my, my second spouse, um, now ex, which, um, you know, anyway, so I asked the Lord um, if he could relay to me any thoughts regarding this dream and what God um, revealed to me and this was again this morning um, on July 11th 2022 so God thoughts become oh to become unequally yoked can destroy your lives that is why I so highly warn against it if people are not aligned with me, they can easily be misled by demon demonic entities. People don't realize the importance and high intensity of the spiritual realm. It can mean life or death physically and spiritually. My ways are the best, yet I have given you all free will and free choice. It pains me when I see my children misled and my beautiful creation being destroyed by the hands of evil. I ask for you all to follow and adhere to my words and the Ten Commandments in all your ways to acknowledge me, to not lean into your own understanding, to take all thoughts captive to the obedience of me, and to pray without ceasing. So that you all could live and live the best life, so that you all could live the best life on earth before your spiritual destiny. Um, and then um, I asked, I asked, I said, "Thank you, Lord, for sharing any more you would like to share." And then God thought, "Yes, my daughter, I made a way of forgiveness through my Son Jesus, so that you could." align your hearts, minds, and souls with me to understand my ways, my purpose for each of your lives because it is not um, my will that any of you could would perish. It is not my will that any of you would perish into the depths of hell when your life on earth is over. I ask of each of you to do as I shared in the Holy Bible inspired Jeremiah verse 29:13. And ye shall seek me and find me when you when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And um, I actually read from
from um, verse 10 through the 16 for through chapter or verse 16 sorry chapter 29 verses 10 through 16 and I did write it out in my journal but um, I was thinking just the first part I would read to you um, it says in verse 10 for thus saith the Lord that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon I will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place for I know the thoughts that I think toward you saith the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an unex to give you an expected end then shall you call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you and then here's that verse and you sh and ye shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart in verse 14 and I will be found of you saith the Lord and I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you saith the Lord and I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive verse 15 because you have said the Lord hath raised up raised us up prophets in Babylon verse 16 know that thus saith the Lord of the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and of all the people that dwelleth in this city and of your brethren that are not gone forth with you into cap captivity anyway I'm not no um, Bible theologian or nothing like that but that's just what God revealed to me in um, mainly verse um, 29 13 to seek ask I see and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart so anyway those are some God thoughts regarding um, July 11th 2022 and regarding the number 711 okay God bless and take care good night